So my last video was actually a ride up from Alamogordo to Riodoso. And while I don't like to be repetitive, um, this video is also leaving from Alamogordo and headed up to Riodoso. The reason I want to go check it out is that uh, in June they had some terrible fires up there, uh, followed by some devastating flooding, and uh, there was a lot of damage done. And I, I haven't been up there since those fires occurred. So we're going to take a ride, make a few stops along the way, but eventually get up to Rio Doso and, and check that area out and see what's what's going on with them. Hopefully things are getting better. Let's hit it. Right now we are headed through Tularosa, New Mexico and uh, going to head up through Mescalero on up to Rio Doso. On the way we're going to stop at a pretty little creek that I like to check out. Um, and in Mescalero actually we'll, we'll stop in and check out the St. Joseph Apache Mission Church. Really beautiful church. If you get a chance to stop in and take a peek it's, it's worth doing. So between Tularosa and Riodoso, there is a little bit of a, what I consider a hidden gem. I think we'll go down and check it out. By the looks of this cactus, you wouldn't think there's any water down here. It's almost like nobody knows about this spot, and this is one of the strongest running streams in this part of the country. I believe it's got more uh, water in it than the Rio Rio Doso up in Rio Doso. I have seen some trout in here before. They were tiny, but I don't know. Tiny ones got to come from bigger ones, right? So maybe it's worth dropping a fly in here one day. No matter how severe our drought becomes in the southwest, this is a, a reliable water source. I've never seen the stream run low, no matter how hot and dry it is. It's good stuff. Well, that's a cool spot, but you do have to do some bushwhacking to get there. I won't say exactly where it is, but that mountain is a pretty good clue right there. Time to get back on the road to Rito, so.
pass through Mescalero, New Mexico on your way to Rio Doso, you'll see the St. Joseph's Apache Mission Church on the right-hand side of the road. It's a really pretty church, and it's worth taking a, a few minutes to stop and check it out if you have time. I don't know if they're open today, and we can look inside if we uh, can. We sure will. Fortunately, it was open and we had an opportunity to go in there. Um, something about it that, to me at least, is an awful peaceful feeling to be in that church. And what a view they have out of the front door, right? Beautiful. So far, there's not been a lot of signs that there was anything uh, that was a problem uh, fire-wise. Or you can see some uh, evidence of flooding in the stream bed here. And the first sign of trouble, I guess, that I would call out is that uh, this water should be clear and it's muddy. So. This is usually a crystal clear stream. You can see right to the bottom. Not that it's that deep, but you can always see right to the bottom. And uh, that water is just muddy now. So that's, I'm sure, washing down out of the burn scars further upstream. You can also see that the uh, flooding started to take this railing out.
folks still have sandbags set out for the flooding. Uh, flooding will be a risk for years after uh, bad fires like, like what happened.
house and just kind of envelop the house with the flooding. Most of the structures up here, though, were damaged by fire. There was apparently 1,400 structures destroyed. I don't know what the ratio is, is of houses versus businesses versus outbuildings and things like that, but it's, you know, as you can see right through here, the, uh, many of them were out of people's homes. A lot of people took a lot of loss up here. to uh, some people in some of the businesses in town, um, things have been pretty slow in Rio Doso. Uh, the tourist trade has slowed way down after the, after the fires, and that's what the city lives on. So I'd encourage you, if you can uh, uh, get up and drop a little coin in some restaurants or shops or something like that, it sure help a lot of people out. Um, Rio Doso itself is still uh, in not bad shape. Uh, lots to do, and places to stay. So don't, don't let this discourage you from coming up here. Come on, spend a couple bucks.
father-in-law's cabin was. It looks like flooding has taken it away on this one. More than fire. I'm not sure if that's not it right there. It got pushed down. I guess these are some town elk here that don't seem to fear humans very much. All just kind of relaxing and chilling out. This is pulling into the parking lot of the Swiss Chalet, but it's, it's blocked off, you can't go up there, but it's certainly not open. Some of the work trucks and all that are responsible for some of the cleanup. Uh, clouds are kind of rolling in now and, and looking out uh, over that. It's hard to tell by the lighting, but that all that forest has burned, all of it and a whole lot further beyond that. So, yeah, pretty rough shape. Mother Nature is amazing. We'll recover more quickly than um, what the people got going on there. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Got some storms rolling in, and we'll catch you on the next one.